Folks, the Michigan Football Report is presented by Roan. Dress shirts are always uncomfortable, tight, and they are never your size. This shirt makes me look good. Looking good is easy with Roan. It's time to feel confident with a wrinkle-free shirt without the hassle. I spilled drinks all over the shirt during our live show. You couldn't even tell. 20% off your order. Roan.com slash chat sports. You got to use promo code chat sports. No spaces. Roan.com slash chat sports. That's R-H-O-N-E dot com. You are going to dive in with me to the 2023 Michigan football recruiting class. Now, the Wolverines had a pretty decent class, top 20 class, coming into signing day. But big news this afternoon, Jair Hill, the four-star cornerback out of the state of Illinois, said Michigan wasn't in his top five, yet then picks up a Michigan hat from the table. Jair Hill is the final member for now, right? So February signing day. Final member of this class for this December signing day. Um, fourth ranked you know, commit in this class as of now. Again, uh, Jair Hill is a Michigan Wolverine, despite the fact that he was not in their top. Michigan was not in his top five. Uh, one of the all-time great uh, recruiting you know, ploys of all time. I think he did that on purpose. Gotcha. And people freaked out. But nevertheless, Jair Hill will be part of a Michigan football team in 2023. Let's see who you guys got. Michigan, TCU. Let me know what you guys think. I'll give a few shout-outs here in the live chat. This video is going to go up on Wednesday night. Um, it's already 5.02 p.m. Central, 6.02 Eastern. So we'll put it about 8 o'clock, 8.30 Eastern uh, at best. So let me know what you guys uh, think. Who you got, Michigan or TCU? The live chat is 100% Michigan. Jack, when you get a chance, change the live poll to who you got, Michigan, TCU. Let's see what the people think in the poll. Haven't seen any TCU people come in just yet, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Give me an M or T down in the comments or here on the live chat, Michigan or TCU. As I mentioned, Jair Hill out of Illinois is Michigan's latest and Maybe one of the best members of this 2023 recruiting class that's in this early signing day, which is what we now consider the signing day at this point. It's not only an early signing day. I think this is the signing day. There's less than 5% of the top 1,000 players in the country will not sign with me or sign with me, sign with other team in uh, in December. So very low, very uh, small amount of, of players will, uh, will commit in February. But nevertheless, Nicholas Harbour is out there. And for now, Jair Hill chose Michigan over Illinois, Florida, Purdue, Missouri, Kentucky, others. Final five didn't include Michigan. Nice fake out and is the fourth and clip player in Michigan's recruiting class. Folks, I love the theatrics, right? Jair Hill, I love it. You put it on the top five. Michigan was not a part of it. I, I told you guys in the shows on Monday and Tuesday, all-time fake out, and that's what it was. And I'm excited because it did exactly what he wanted to do. Got the other fan bases excited and got Michigan's fan bases kind of the freak out. I thought you guys said he was coming to Michigan, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if I had a son, like I've said, uh, he was a top – college football recruit. He'd go to Michigan 100%. I always say this. If my son, who's now six years old, was a top 100 player, he had any choice to school to go to, which he probably won't, right? I mean, come on, look at these genetics. Not meant for uh, not meant for football playing. But um, I would tell him to Mich he'd go to Michigan or Stanford. Stanford because of the educational opportunities. Uh, but I certainly would have him wear Ohio State gear all the time. Tweet out, loving the Buckeyes just to stick it to the Buckeyes. I think that's what Jair Hill did here with some other schools, and it's pretty exciting. I love the signing day theatrics. Oh, I'm going to this school? Nope. I'm going to this school. That's what it is. All right, where is Michigan's class shakeout? As of right now, filming this in the evening, Wednesday evening, 24-7 composite has Michigan as the number 17 class in the country that's kind of rocketed up over the last few days as Michigan was like number 23 a week ago, 24 a week ago, down to 20, 21, 19, 18, now the 17th ranked class. ESPN's got them at 20, rivals 17 on three, and the 24-7 sports own rankings have Michigan's at class at 22. Let's take a look at the top 10 recruits in this class. Eno Etta out of Texas is your top commitment and top signee in this class out of Colleyville, the 6'4", 6'5", 260-pound defensive lineman. Cole Cabana, by next year midseason, I think he's a big-time contributor on this team. Carmelo English out of Alabama committed this morning, four-star wide receiver. Evan Link, the tackle out of D.C. Amir Herring from West Bloomfield. Samaj Bridgman, two Samajs in this class, right? Samaj, James backwards, coincidence, I'm not sure. Nathan Afobi out of Georgia. And then uh, tight end Deacon Ton Toninelli, Cameron Calhoun, the three-star cornerback, is your 10th best player. It's the Michigan football uh, class 2023 recruiting class, top 10 players, and is presented by Roan. 
Guys, if you watch our live shows, you saw that I might spill things on myself. I might ruffle this shirt up. Dress shirts are a pain. They're always uncomfortable. They're always wrinkled. This Roan shirt, I didn't even have to iron it. It was that amazing. It's super stretchy. Look at this. I had stretched this bad boy out. It still works. The dress shirt was due for a radical reinvention, and Roan stepped up to the challenge. Roan's commuter shirt, which I am wearing, is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible shirt known to man. Make sure we get that in the live chat too, Jack. The Roan link for the people. 20% off and free shipping. Roan.com slash chat sports. Folks, flexibility is is everything and with Roan looking good is easy it's time to feel confident with a wrinkle free shirt without the hassle with Roan's wrinkle release technology I swear by this thing I swear to you four hours ago I said to some of our other hosts of the channel I'm like does your shirt wrinkle like how do I have to iron it I put it on the wrinkles went away that you stretch wear the shirt and wear the shirt it's that easy the commuter shirt can get you through any work day and straight to whatever comes next Go to roan.com slash chatsports and use promo code chatsports. See the bottom of the screen, roan.com slash chatsports. That's R-H-O-N-E dot com slash chatsports. 20% off your entire order. Get two of these bad boys. I'll tell you, you're not going to wear any other dress shirts. They're amazing. I wear it to the bar. I wore it to a holiday party. I wear it to the office. I wear it here on live uh, live on YouTube, roan.com slash chatsports. It's time to find your corner office comfort. Top recruit in this class is Eno Etta. A lot of rumors out there that he was maybe looking around. He squashed those out last week at an Instagram Live. He is your top recruit in this 2023 recruiting class out of Colleyville, Texas. Number uh, 116 player overall. 14th best defensive line in all of the 2023 class. How about Cole Cabana? Right? Um, not to go into, you know generalizations here but you don't see too many white running backs do you jack this guy is fast as hell uh reminds me i mean look reminds me because sam sam uh mcduffie uh michigan 15 years ago 20 2007 2008 class um out of texas is uh is maybe his comparison super fast I have Ms. Blake Corm's body type with Diamond Edwards speed out of Dexter, Michigan. Got recruited by everybody. All the schools were after. Miami made a big time push. I think by next year, midseason, he's the guy you can count on for, you know, six to ten carries per game backing up Diamond Edwards. Hell, maybe even Blake Corm. How about Carmelo English? Committed this morning. 5'11, 175. He reminds me a lot of Roman Wilson out of Alabama. Pick Michigan over a few schools in the South. He's the number 180 player overall in the country. Just committed Jair Hill. Kept us waiting 40, 50 minutes, uh, kind of an awkward press conference, but nevertheless, quarterback, number 24 quarterback overall, 195 in the country, your fourth rated player in this class. Evan Link out of D.C., 269 overall, number 24 offensive lineman. Offense, he's an offensive tackle, number 24 offensive lineman. 6'6", 290, fits in great for a future right or left tackle for Michigan. I don't expect him to make an impact next year. But 2024, his third year, 25, he potentially could be a future star for this team. His fellow offensive line mate, classmate, Amir Herring, out of Bloomfield, West Bloomfield, Michigan. Uh, probably an interior guy. Probably going to be an offensive guard. He's number 291 overall, four-star. Samaj Bridgman, the linebacker out of Philadelphia. What are the odds that my name is James and Michigan has two players in this class with James backwards, right? Samaj backwards, James. Nevertheless, told my son yesterday, God backwards is dog. Devil backwards is lived. Samaj backwards is James. How about Nathan Afobi out of Georgia? Number 17 offensive lineman. You see a trend here, right? Three of Michigan's top six, seven players. Offensive lineman, number 349 in the country. Deacon Tony Ellie uh, out of Illinois. Big time tight end. He's not uh, he's a four-star, but that's something I expect to make an impact next year. Right? I think Michigan with uh, the tight end transfer from, from Indiana came over. Gives Michigan the ability to uh, redshirt or possibly just you know have special teams for a guy like Deacon Tonielli. But 2024, two years from now, after Colson Lovell moves on, this might be the, uh, the tight end star of the future. Cameron Calhoun out of Cincinnati, Ohio, committed to Michigan right after the Michigan-Ohio State game. He's a three-star cornerback, top 500 overall, top 50 corner. Uh, special teams guy in year one and year two, but maybe a uh, big-time player. In uh, in the years out, where's Cameron Calhoun ranked, Jack, for this class? He's number ten player, is that right, or is he further down than that? He's number ten player in Michigan's class. All right, let's take a look at the Big Ten recruiting rankings. Right, uh, Michigan now up to number sixteen. 17 class, Jack says. Uh, we'll get that change, and there it is. Number five, Ohio State is number one in the Big Ten. They're number five nationally. Penn State, number 13 nationally, two in the Big Ten. Michigan, 17, and number three. Oh, 
congratulations, Michigan State. You didn't lose all your commitments. They came in with the number 25 class overall. Nebraska fifth in the Big Ten, 27 overall. Keep it rolling through the Big Ten. Iowa 36, number seven in the Big Ten. Northwestern 7th, Minnesota 8th, Maryland 9th. Kind of disappointing for Maryland because they've gotten some big-time recruits, and D.C. has become a little bit of a recruiting hotspot in the recent years. And then Illinois, number 10 at number 43 nationally. Right off the Big Ten. Um, two of these three schools you know, down the stretch here, a couple of them uh, made coaching changes. But Rutgers, disappointing, number 11, right? Greg shannon has been there. He's been in and around the New York area. He knows what he's doing. I'm kind of disappointed that they have number 55 class overall. Wisconsin, coaching change, okay. And then Purdue, coaching change as well. They brought over uh, Illinois' defensive coordinator, young guy, like in his early to mid-30s as their new coach, number 56 class overall. Indiana, what a disappointment they have been. They were really hot in the 2020 year, beat Michigan for the first time since 1986. Now they end up at the number 70 class in the big in the country and number 14 last place in the Big Ten. Guys, we started this 2021 season against Wisconsin. Like the video, like I've said in the past, like the video, no guarantee, but it's put out the vibes. Put out the vibes, put out the vibes. Jack, give me some vibes. Come on, give me some vibes. Jack, give me vibes. Michigan wins against TCU. Hell, wins the national title. If you want to beat uh, TCU, if you like this Michigan football class, either one, put out the vibes, like the video. Um, by choosing not to like the video, you're telling the world, I don't care if Michigan has a good recruiting class. I don't care if Michigan has beats TCU. Don't do that. Put out the vibes because I'll tell you what, if Michigan doesn't win against TCU, if any of these recruits don't work out, your fault. Not in the top 10 anymore, but still very highly rated. A great route runner from the film I've watched is Frederick Moore out of St. Louis, Missouri. Three-star, 5'10 overall. Jason Hewlett out of Youngstown, Ohio, where my wife's from, from Youngstown. So uh, a little connection there. Um, athlete, uh, 6'4", 210. I expect him to be a defensive end, but there's a chance he could potentially uh, make an impact on offense. Tight end, uh, 32th ranked, 32nd ranked athlete and number 5'14 overall. Zach Marshall. Out of Carlsbad, California, 6'4", 220. Michigan's brought in four or five of these guys in this class where defensive end is the likely position, but they can make an impact in a bunch of different places. Tight end, hell, running back, I don't know. Um, and that's where I see Zach Marshall uh, you know, going in the future. Hell, maybe that's safety if he uh, – yeah, I think he's going to get a little faster. But nevertheless, keeping that California connection alive for Jim Harbaugh. Roderick Pierce, a.k.a. Trey Pierce, committed to Michigan a couple weeks ago. Uh, flip from Wisconsin, 554 overall, three-star defensive lineman. Now, this guy here, Brooks Barr. I think of these next batch of players, right, outside of the top 10, outside of the top 12, Brooks Barr out of Illinois, 653 overall. He is one of these players, if you watch his recruiting film, my takeaway on him is he loves hitting people, not in a bad way, on the football field. He loves the violence of football, and he is a grinder. I expect big things from Brook Bar in the Brooks Bar in the future. Benjamin Hall. Now, no disrespect to Benjamin Benjamin Hall here, but he was the third string running back on his high school team as a senior. I think Michigan expected more from him. They still accepted his signed letter of intent, but um, I hope he proves me wrong. But as of now, I'm not expecting Benjamin Hall to be a contributing player. On the offensive side of the ball at Michigan, um, three-star somehow still kept it within the top 800, but nevertheless, uh, that's probably because he's a Michigan offer more than his actual production in high school. How about this guy? Americ Kumba. Kumba, yeah, my lord. France. Great film. David Ajabo 2.0, right? Not saying there's that similarities, but 6'4", Ajabo from overseas, Ajabo. I don't know. A job. Uh, if he was a American for four years in high school, I think he would be a top 100 player. Phenomenal film. Just type his name into YouTube. Watch some of his film. Americ, uh, Americ Kumba. Uh, defensive end to play edge at Michigan. 822 overall. Kendrick Bell. It's Lam it's uh, it's Ronnie Bell's brother. Um, he is 6'3", 180. They list him as an athlete, but he is going to get a chance to be a quarterback at Michigan his freshman year. Uh, we'll see if it shakes out. If not, I could see him moving at 6'3", 180, super athletic to being a wide receiver just like his brother. Hayden Moore, the tackling machine, committed to Nebraska out of Aurora, Colorado. Um, very lowly ranked, but he reminds me a lot of Brooks Barr. I hate to make the uh, you know, consensus like a you know, – a uh, gym rat kind of guy, but he is a tackling machine. Looks like he loves contact. Jim Harbaugh looks guy. He's a football player who likes to play football, likes to hit guy. That's Hayden Moore. I'm super excited about him. Flip from Nebraska to Michigan. Breon Ishmael out of Cincinnati, Ohio, number number 1249. Lowly ranked guy. 
didn't get an Ohio State offer. Maybe that fuels him like Rod Moore, similarly ranked, started at Michigan as a true freshman. Um, Brian Ishmael will be a linebacker, so see if he can make an impact for Michigan next year and coming years. But a lot of guys, uh, I grew up in Ohio myself, right? Ohio State doesn't offer you? Motivation. Uh, Dewan Waller, another guy out of Youngstown, 6'3", 195. He'll be a corner or a big safety for Michigan. Didn't get an Ohio State offer, was committed to Toledo, got late interest from Kentucky and Michigan, chose the Wolverines. Lowest rated skill position player, you know, position player in this class, but uh, sometimes those are the best players that no one believes in them, they make an impact. And then Adam Samaha, the kicker, number six kicker in the country. He wraps up Michigan's 2023 recruiting Class, and that is what it is. Uh, how about the early enrollees? Who's going to be on campus next month, right? And these guys can actually practice with Michigan starting next week, right? Um, and even this week, although I haven't heard of it, but I thought they could start this week, but I haven't heard that yet. But Cole Cabana, Benjamin Hall, the running backs, Frederick Moore, Samaj Morgan, wide receivers, early enrollees. Now, I think Morgan and Cole Cabana will be more likely because they're local, local guys. Technically, the other ones out of town can't move in until January. Also, Zach Marshall, Amir Herring, local guy as well. Uh, Emmerich Kumba from France. Maybe he's already in, you know, in, in around. And then Cameron Calhoun. Any of those guys can practice with Michigan up until they leave to go to uh, to go to Arizona um, right after Christmas. So we'll see if any of them do. Right? Who did that last year? Will Johnson. What's he doing this year? He's Absolutely crushing it for Michigan's team. One of the best uh, you know, freshmen in all of college football this season. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to put that link in the live chat. Is at James Yoder. Jack, if you can, I don't know if I saw that. Oh, there it goes. I got it. Put it in the live chat if you have yet to do so. It's also in the comments and the description of today's video. At James Yoder, just hit 10,000 followers. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. Daily tweets on Michigan. The good stuff, Ohio State, the bad stuff, making fun of them. So follow me at James Jordan. All right, national rankings, top 25 recruiting classes, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Miami. Ohio State had a day. Uh, they popped them. They were at five, dropped to seven. They popped back up to five. LSU, Oregon, also having themselves a day. They lost Dante Moore, but they flipped a bunch of other guys. Oklahoma, Notre Dame, and they've dropped. Notre Dame has been the biggest drop in uh, the recruiting rankings uh, in the last couple days. Then Tennessee rounding out the top 10. Rest of the top 20, USC, Clemson, Florida, Penn State, Texas A&M offering every recruit a million bucks. They can only get a top 15 class, one above Michigan, offering no money. I could take that. Uh, clearly didn't work out for them in the field. One of the worst teams in Power 5 this year. Program completely falling apart. Michigan, no guaranteed money in, in NIL. They have number 16 class. Florida State, South Carolina, resurgent end of the year for them. Young coach Shane Beamer, TCU. Big time year for them, uh, 12 wins, 12-1, and one, uh, making the college football playoff. And then Auburn, they get that new coach bump with Hugh Freeze. That's your top 20 classes in college football. Do you guys believe that Michigan can win the college football national championship? You got to play TCU. You got to play the winner of Ohio State and Georgia. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. On the live show, the first five people who uh, who – Reply, I'm going to give you a shout out. Max Juden says yes. Mark Shank says yes. DJ Key uh, also yes. Willie, Willie M. Cosi says yes. And then Jacksonville Zoe, who called me out for a drink I had to take earlier, he says yes. So early consensus is 100% yes, Michigan can. I do think they can. Jack, how long have we been talking about? Since October? Michigan can win the national championship. I've been saying it for two months. There it is. All right. Where do these players rank in the country uh, overall? I just want to review the class really quick. Eno Etta, Cole Cabana, Carmelo English, and Jair Hill, those last two four stars, uh, the commits today. Um, you see the rankings across the bottom of the screen. That's their position rank and their national rank. You got four top 200 guys. Ethan, uh, Evan Link, Amir Herring out of Bloomfield, Samaj Bridgman, the linebacker, and then Nathan if uh, Ifobi, four stars. You kind of getting up to the 350 ranks, all those guys, 24 offensive tackle, 13 offensive lineman, uh, 23rd linebacker, and another offensive lineman. How about Deacon Tonielli? I think he's going to be a star in two or three years from now after Colson Lovely moved on. Cameron Calhoun, that starts your three stars. Samaj Morgan, look, James backwards, I don't know, Frederick Moore, uh, you get into the 500 ranks nationally. All right, if you tell me if I was a high school senior, 500th in the country, that's be pretty good. I think sometimes people like, you know, trash guys who aren't top 100, top 200. Jason Hewlett, Zach Marshall, Roderick, a.k.a. Trey Pierce, and Brooks Barr, who I think will be a star in his own right, three stars. Kind of 514 up to 652 in the 24-7 sports composite rankings. Benjamin Hall, 
Emmerich Kumba from France, Kendrick Bell, who is Ronnie's brother, and then the tackling machine, Hayden Moore, who I think uh, will outperform uh, his rankings. He's the number 1,114 player in this class. Rounding out the class, Brian Ishmael, Dewan uh, Walker Jr. out of Youngstown, Ohio, and then Adam Samaha out of Ann Arbor. That is uh, the 2023 Michigan football recruiting class. I want to know what you guys think of this class. We have a few shout-outs, first five shout-outs here on the live chat. If you are watching on demand, we're going to put this out on Wednesday night. So go down in the comments and comment A, B, C, D, or F. Grade Michigan's 2023 recruiting class. I said yesterday, C plus, B minus. Now I'm going to say B minus, B. I think B, maybe B minus, right? Not top 15 class, but getting those two four-star top 200 guys, receiver, cornerback, certainly helps. I'm going to ask you to change my mind. Solid B on this class. Uh, with the transfers, I see Logan Cook in the live chat saying, with the transfers, it's a B. I agree with that. Uh, that is for sure. Bill Graves is giving it a B. B-plus for Willie uh, Mosey. Ryan Stan says a B-minus. One more grade, and then we'll move on with the rest of the show. Uh, B-minus from Ryan Stan. If they get uh, N- Nicholas Harbor, that'll be A-minus for sure. I saw there from Mark Shank. Uh, Jacksonville Zosa says B, and then Lee Kutala says A-minus. Iceman Comp, B-plus, Mark Shank. Or B-minus for Iceman Comp, B-minus. And then Mark Shank is a B plus. All right, guys.